praise the Lord. Thus says the Lord that you shall be delivered from the trap of the mortgage or the EMIs. You do not have to fall into the trap of this system where you are the borrower. The word of God clearly says that the Lord God has never made you the borrower. He has always made you the lender. The will of the Lord is this, that you should never ever borrow, but rather you must lend. The Lord wants you to stop borrowing and start lending. Start giving on the altar of God. Start giving it for godly purposes, for ministry work. Your finances are for God and not for evil altars. Such activities where you fulfill your desires and for these desires you are borrowing money and you are fulfilling the devil's plan in your life by taking mortgage or receiving the ideas of EMIs. The Lord God says such evil activities are condemned because you are choosing to borrow when the Lord God says that I have already delivered you. Many people are already delivered. Even then they have the human nature and they see what is happening all around in this world and they fall in the trap of loans, EMIs. For small things you start borrowing. For small things you take loans. The Lord God will help you to manage your finances but only when you say or you make the covenant with the Lord that your finances are not for the evil doing, not for the flesh, not for any evil thing, not to please men or women, not even to please anyone in your family, but they are for the people of God. The word of God says only when you bless my temple, when you bring abundant blessings in the house of God. If you see Malachi chapter 3 verse 9 and 10, if you see and read and understand Malaika chapter 3, you will come to know that the Lord God says that if you bring plenty of the finances of your wealth on the altar of God, in the house of God, on the temple of God, then his promises will manifest. So there is no need of taking loans. Even you do not have to borrow for sowing on the altar of God. Many people, they borrow for sowing. Why do you have to borrow for sowing? You do not have to borrow. The seed is given to you by the Lord. Make sure, sure about one thing that if the Lord God has blessed you with the seed, don't use it for your flesh. Don't use it for your carnal. Don't use it for your materialistic things. Rather, keep it aside for sowing on the altar of God. And you know that it is for God, but still you use it for your pleasures for your purposes. Now another thing the Lord spoke to me that many 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 people are using their fixed deposits for their own things for buying television for buying washing machine for buying refrigerator for fulfilling the desires of your grandmother for fulfilling the desires of your wife of your children of your parents you are buying gold and silver just to please them whatever they are asking you're fulfilling them but what about our Lord God Jesus Christ? So you are even giving your fixed deposits to the carnal instead of bringing it on the altar of God. This is what the Lord spoke to me. Your fixed deposits are never for God. They are for all these people who want the materialistic things and who know nothing about Jesus. So first they should come to the Lord. If you really want to fulfill their desires, they want new clothing, they want healthy food, they want to have everything which is luxurious. You even want to go with your family for travel trips and plans, but the Lord never gives you these ideas or blessings to have family get togethers without purposes. Not even for birthdays, everything should be for ministry. Everything should be for the gospel of truth. Your hundred percent should be for the gospel of truth. You are not bringing your fixed deposits on the altar of God. Never you thought about it, never you did it, but you are willing to give it for the other purposes. So that's the trap, that's the wickedness you have. And you are even willing to pay for all these things and take loans. But the Lord God says that even if you have to bring the finances on the altar of God, even in that case, you do not have to worry about borrowing money. So no more mortgages. 
no more emr so you shall be provided in every video i am trying to show this prosperous land this whole mountain this is a whole huge mountain and it belongs only to one person i can go on climbing and it ends after the one kilometer of trekking so i have to trek for around one kilometer and then is the hilltop but as I am recording this video, he has given me complete freedom to go anywhere and record the video because this whole mountain belongs to one person. This is the real prosperity when one person has so much to have for himself and to give. He is not bothered about anything else. He is ready to give it with a free will. So he said, go wherever you want, you can record the videos. He has no, uh, nothing against me, absolutely nothing. Because he is a rich man, he is prosperous. He is not thinking about making money. He already has. He already has. And he is blessed with the abundant cardamom, the land, the yield of cardamom. He is rich because cardamom is one of the spices which you can sell at a good price and the tea plantations and i am sure he has many other plantations so you can you imagine that apart from the celebrities even he is rich generally the people of the world they think that only celebrities and the popular faces they are rich sometimes they are not even rich because they are living their lifestyle the business people they are living the lifestyle based on the credit they are going through the evil trap of mortgages and uh, EMIs and they call it the system of the world but if you see this man he has nothing to worry because his forefathers blessed him with this huge mountain and uh, it is plenty it is the plenteous blessings it is abundant blessings so when I land here when I see these blessings I am amazed and this is the reason why the Lord God says, if they can receive, how much more he shall bless his people. So stop thinking about EMI. The first thing, you should let the carnal leave you. Let, let it go. The thinking of this world, let it go. You cannot say that I am doing it for some taxation. The word of God says that you pay the tax. And for paying the tax, for saving the tax, you are borrowing money. How fair is that with you yourself and with your prosperity? How fair is this with our beloved Jesus that you are saving the tax and you are borrowing money? Does that make sense to your spirituality and spiritual wisdom, your godliness? The word of God says what belongs to Caesar, give it to Caesar. What belongs to God, give it to God. There is no word which says what belongs to you, give it to yourself. What belongs to Caesar, give it to Caesar. What belongs to God, give it to God. And this also means that you have it. When you have to give tax, you have it. When you have to give God, you have it. Means you have it. If you already have it, why are you into the system of the world? And this system where you are becoming the poverty mindset. You are receiving the poverty mindset. You're following the poverty mindset. And year after years, even after 10 years, even after 20 years, you're still under the tag, under the impression that you are paying the EMIs. So you are the borrower. One year, two years, 10 years, 20 years, you're still under the bondage because now you have borrowed money. But what about the freedom? The Lord God talks about prosperity. Prosperity where there is no need of borrowing at all. So tonight as this revelation is entering your bone marrow and your eyes are open not only spiritual eyes but even your worldly eyes shall be open to see what is going on in this world you will see it clearly that you should be away from the trap of the mortgages away from the trap of the emis and whenever i say that your spiritual eyes are open your physical eyes shall also be open if you have the specs you shall be delivered 
you won't have to suffer four eyes just two natural eyes are enough for you if you have any anything that is stopping your eye side you shall be healed you shall be delivered that's the power of the anointing the word manifests and the anointing manifests the way you need your breakthroughs are always planned by the lord thy god all that you have to do is to say yes and amen lord i am willing to obey the prophets the word of god says believe in them do as they say and obey them so now even after this do you still want to fall into the trap of borrowing money if you do not want if you want to live a prosperous life then say yes and amen in the comment box below and always remember that even if i don't tell you you have to tithe you have to sow your seed for the prophetic word you must also give the thanksgiving offerings the first fruits offering you should also like this video share it subscribe to this channel if you're willing to continue and do comment because you're participating as an evangelist if you are not helping the lord share these videos you are still selfish you must be a giver share it on facebook share it in whatsapp email other people and not only this but every video which you have received you must sow your tithing for that video you must sow the seed for the particular video and give the blessings to others share it with others and this is how it multiplies hallelujah